Hello oh, there, in this video I want to take a look at this uh, self ballast high pressure mercury lamp. Now, I have, have been using this for uh, quite a few months now, I had it in uh, one of the rooms just, just to see what it was like. It's rated at 160 watt, <clears throat> and uh, when I tried to take it out of the fitting, the, uh, the cement that holds the uh, sorry Edison screw cap on basically it broke off so I was left with a light basically hanging on the, the wires so I basically ripped it out and uh, the screw cap on it was an Edison screw and uh, I used a converter because we, we use bayonet connectors in the UK so anyway as I uh, yanked it out that broke off so it's released the vacuum from in here and I'm going to smash it open and uh, see how it works or oh, well how it's constructed I can make out a little bit through the inside there but basically what it is is a small uh, fused silica arc tube inside full of low pressure argon and a small blob of mercury and there's a, a normal incandescent filament in series with this so this can be put straight into a light fixture with no external ballast and I've got to say it's pretty bright and uh, give off a nice colour but unfortunately when I decided to take it out I broke it in the process so I picked this up off eBay for about uh, I think it was about £10 quite a while ago now uh, if, I can, if, uh, if I can find the listing I'll put the link in the description so to get this open thrashing stick safety glasses and a plastic bag to stick it in so I'll put my safety glasses on because I don't want to get any uh, last one. Now I've got to be quite careful doing this because I don't want to smash the arc tube inside because this contains mercury even though it's only a small amount but because the vacuum has been released it probably won't make a really loud pop but I'm going to try and break it on the end there so, so, I, don't, so I can avoid catching the arc tube and that went too bad Mm. Yeah. So what do we have here? Well, the safety glasses have come off now. Right, the good news is the arc tube's intact. There's a resistor, so one end, there's an electrode in that end, and an electrode that end. That electrode is a small starter electrode, because in these tubes you've got basically two electrodes on one end and one electrode the other end. And the mains voltage is applied between these two electrodes via this resistor. So what that does, that basically ionises the gas inside the tube, but not a lot of current can flow due to the, the resistor. But because the gas is ionised, a large current can then flow between these two electrodes. But that is still limited by this coil because this is going to act as a resistor. Because because these these tubes, the reason why normally they run off a of ballast is because when you when they fire up, basically they'll just carry on, just drawing as much current as possible. The harder they get, the more amps they draw. So that's why they use a ballast to limit it. Only in this these lamps, you've just got a a series filament and it's a bit let's see how they've, how they've mounted it it's tacked on there to one side goes across tacks onto there which goes to the electrode on the end what I'm going to do I'm going to measure the resistance of that if I can find my multimeter Nothing on 2K. That's quite high resistance. Uh, 
That's 52.5 kilo ohm. So there's not a lot of current going to flow between the uh, starter electrode. Of course, you don't want much current to flow through. It's just, just enough to ionise the gas inside the tube. And on the, uh, that's broke off, so let's add it. I don't know if you can see it. Is it? I can make a tiny little silver dots of, uh, of mercury inside there. It's interesting the resistor is uh, it isn't coated, it's just a bare carbon film. You can actually see the see the carbon film where they they when they manufacture the resistors, depending on the value, they just score a spiral going around them. Yeah. Right, I think that'll do for this video. Cheerio!